Council, we are honored to be in your presence today. And we are delighted that you have accepted our invitation to this live performance of your story. Oh, it's my pleasure. Well, after all, who better to help tell the story of Rapunzel than Rapunzel? This is going to be such an adventure. Ah, uh, now remember, we are here to help you in any way we can. Should you wish to know where to stand, we shall show you. Should you want to know what to say, we shall tell you. Should you wish to recognize one of us for most outstanding performance by a player in a leading role, drama, or comedy, we shall kneel before you in humble gratitude. I'm sure you'll both be wonderful. Ah, very well. Are you ready? Yes. Then let the play begin. Once upon a time, there was a radiant young lady named Rapunzel, who lived at the top of a tall, tall tower. From the time I was just a baby, my mother never as Rapunzel gazed out her tower window, she would wonder when would her life begin. My dream was to go see the floating lanterns that appeared in the night sky every year on my birthday. But today, like every other day, Rapunzel's daydreams were interrupted by a familiar voice. Rapunzel! Mother Gothel? Let down your hair! Oh, let me undo that Wait, wait a minute! Wait, wait what? I have no idea how long it takes to break this. Oh, oh of course. <laughs> Stunt hair! <laughs> What's that? That is a theatrical representation of your head. Oh, I love the theater! <laughs> Obediently, Rapunzel lowered her hair down so Mother Gothel could ascend the seat tower wall. Attendance that Mother Gothel was not Rapunzel's real mother. That's right. I was kidnapped by Mother Gothel when I was just a baby. And why was Rapunzel kidnapped? Oh, oh, uh, Mr. Jones. Because of her magic hair? That is correct, which yes. makes Mother Gothel the fairest 